Hello everyone and welcome to DIY D365. This is a quick tip, so this is going to be short. Uh, we're going to see how we can use timer control of Power Apps. We will uh, look at problem scenarios, business scenario, as well as the solution to that coming up right after the intro. All right, so um, I'll provide a link to my blog uh, regarding this topic so you can also read about it. Uh, we will start off with a problem statement. So what I'm talking about is you can see this button and then if you look at the formula, what I've done here is um, I'm selecting the record from the list here and then I'm saying submit a form. This is a form which is hidden and I'm resetting this form. Then I want to navigate to success screen. But once you have you have seen the success screen, I want you to come back to this screen. But with this formula, it doesn't happen. So let's look at it. So if I go to play mode and click on this button, you will see what's happening is I'll come back to this screen without going to the success screen, right? So that's what just happened. Now that's problem one. Problem two is that if I remove the second navigate here, so if I remove that, and I'll have to make a small change as well. So let me go to success screen and I know there is a timer, so I'll delete it. Now, let me go back to list members, and now you know that I've removed the second navigate from here, so there's no second navigate. Now, if I click on this button, it will take me to the success screen. See? And now I have to click here to go anywhere else. So that's my problem too, that I have to touch the screen while the system should know that after showing the message, it should go back to some other screen. Right, so those are my problem scenarios. Now, the business scenario I wanted to share is I want my user, when they, when they click on check-in, they should be able to see the success screen so they are sure that they have been checked in but then they should land back to the screen which is list members so that's my business scenario now the solution to all of these is that we will go to the success screen and what we are going to do is use timer control so click on insert and input and timer so if i go there i've got timer control now and i will say the first thing is to auto start it so i will say auto start to true that's number one so there are four things we are going to do on timer one is auto start it two we will go to its on select and that's false, so that's good. We don't need to change it. And on timer end, what we need to say is um, navigate to list of members. So I want to show the screen for three seconds, that's all. So now I go to um, duration. I think duration it's, uh, duration so it says 60,000 which means actually 60 seconds so I only need it for 3,000 so that's it and then we don't want our users to see this timer so we will go to visible and set it to false now let's see what happens so that's all you have to do. Let me click on the timer again. Timer. 
and visible a set of false on select a set of false auto start is set to true on timer end is set to navigate to list members and the duration are set to three seconds which is uh, mentioned as 3000 here now let me go back to the list of members and try it all again go and click on play and we hit this button and it will show me this check-in and in three seconds you're back to list of screens so the purpose is that the user is sure that they have success successfully completed the action so let's try it again click and success one two three and list so that's all for the for today in this quick tip hope you like it hope you find this helpful thank you so much for watching have a great day guys thank you